Under the regime of democratic Kampuchea, the people of Cambodia were exposed to forced labor, starvation, and executions. It is believed that at least 1.7 million people died during this regime. Some surviving evidence of what happened includes Tol Sleng Prison, where at least 12,000 people were reportedly executed. 33 years later, on February 27, 2008, Geng Gek Yu, alias Duk, former director of S21, otherwise known as Tolsling Prison, performed a crime scene reenactment along with victims who were former S21 detainees, the co-prosecutors, the co-investigating judges, and co-lawyers. Duk is the first to stand trial on charges of crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crimes punishable under the Cambodian Penal Code of 1956. <laughs> Victims, both from Cambodia and abroad, including witnesses, experts, civil parties, and the general public, have taken part in the proceedings before the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia. More than 30,000 people followed the first trial from the public gallery. Van Nat, one of seven known former inmates who survived the prison, was the first survivor to testify before the court on June 29, 2009. <laughs> Mr. Chum May, another Tho Slang prison survivor, files a complaint with the court as a civil party. The wife of law professor Peng Ton, a former diplomat in the 1960s, survived the executions along with her daughter. They filed a complaint as civil parties with a view to searching for the truth about the death of their husband and father, who is believed to have been executed at S21 in 1977. Mrs. Pungut Suntari had never dreamed that today would come to pass. <laughs> Mrs. Pungut Suntari cooperated with Bopana Audio Resource Center to make a documentary film on her father entitled About My Father. As part of the ECCC's nationwide outreach program, the film was screened in 16 provinces and cities. From January to May 2010, more than 10,900 people viewed the film on the eve of their departure for Phnom Penh to visit the Khmer Rouge Tribunal and S21. The visits give the people of Cambodia an opportunity to find lost relatives they have been awaiting for more than 30 years. One example is the case of Hen Cha, who made the journey on March 25, 2010. She is a native of Kompong Cham province. She found photos of her uncle and her aunt. <laughs> Today, 400 victims, who are also civil parties, are participating in the third forum organized by the Victim Support Section. The purpose of this forum is to foster understanding of the prominent role played by civil parties who may put evidence in proof of harm before the chamber and seek mental and collective reparation. The extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia 
is the first tribunal of its kind which allows victims to participate directly in the court proceedings as civil parties. ការសុំតាំងខ្លួននេះមិនមែនទៅនឹងពីមិនស្ដែលថ្ងៃណាស់ទេខ្ញុំត្រៀមលក្ខណៈនឹងរាប់ឆ្នាំហើយបាទន